my dear students, it's been a very long time since I've had the opportunity to speak with you. But you have been in my thoughts and in my prayers every single day. These are difficult and uncertain times through which we are living. They are times which call upon us to draw upon resources that we did not even know we possessed. Resources of courage, of generosity, of patience and endurance, of cheerfulness in this time of crisis. Today is Guri Padwa. Today is also the Feast of the Annunciation for the Christians. Both of them are moments where life takes on a new turn. And truly, at the moment, this is a unique and different new turn that our life is taking. We are being invited to wait, to just be. It is difficult. Our world is not geared for that at the moment. I know all of you must be extremely worried about what is going to happen about the exams, when are we going to be able to give our exams? When will we get our results? What about the admissions for the next year? What's going to happen next year? These are anxieties that must be filling your mind. And my dear students, these are anxieties that fill the minds of your teachers and me. Because we are all concerned about what is the future. And yet, all we can do at the moment is take one day at a time. Right now, we cannot say anything about examinations or admissions or when college will reopen with any degree of certitude. Sufficient is it to know that each day will unfold in hope and that we will rally our sources to remain connected even in this time of social distancing. There is social media, there are electronic means through which we can remain connected. Because the only thing, my dear students, that will get us through is our ability to express to each other our mutual concern, our mutual affection and our genuine care. We will let you know about what is to happen with examinations as soon as we know, as soon as we can take a decision. And we will give you enough notice, do not worry, so that you will have time, particularly hostelites and those from outstation, to return to Mumbai and peacefully appear for the exams whenever they are. Right now, all that we can do, each one of us and our families, is to follow the directives of the government, remain at home, remain peaceful, remain cheerful. Because in the face of this huge challenge that is being faced by the entire world, we can still hold fast to our belief that we will come through this eventually. We will come through it because we are standing together and we will come through it by the grace of God. God bless each one. I am praying for you and so are all of us. Take care.